So then guys, we've just had WWDC 2023 and we've just seen lots of new Macs announced, including that brand new 15 inch MacBook Air powered by the M2 chipset. However, the next most powerful MacBook out there is the MacBook Pro 14 inch with an M2 Pro inside it, coming in at $1,999. How does this compare to this brand new 15 inch MacBook Air? Well, today we're going to be doing a review of specs of doing the brand new 15 inch MacBook Air versus the 14 inch MacBook Pro with the M2 Pro inside it. And with that, let's begin. So then, as you can see here, we have the brand new MacBook Air 15 inch with the M2 chipset inside it versus the MacBook Pro 14 inch with the M2 Pro. And this is the standard basic M2 Pro chipset. This is the one that you can get for 1,999 US dollars. So this is the lowest spec MacBook Air and also the lowest spec MacBook Pro that I'm gonna be comparing here. So let's get started then first of all with the display type. So starting with the MacBook Air, the 15 inch, model it does actually have an led ips technology inside it and this is the same sort of screen technology we've had for many years inside the macbook uh, for the last sort of seven eight years or so but the macbook pro 14 inch actually has a mini led pro motion display inside it has a different type of technology altogether and to be honest it does make the actual display more clearer and sharper too but the actual screen sizes are very different. In fact, as you can see here, the MacBook Air actually has an over one inch biggest display compared to the 14 inch MacBook Pro. And that's probably gonna see, when you see both of these models, it's probably the biggest difference you're gonna see is actually the screen size. But screen size isn't everything, as we can see here in the screen resolution. In fact, for the MacBook Air 15 inch, the resolution is 2880 by 1864, whereas the 14 inch MacBook Pro is actually 3,024 by 1,964. So as you can probably tell here, in pixels per inch, actually the MacBook Pro actually has more pixels per inch than the MacBook Air, even though the MacBook Air does actually have a larger display. You're actually going to get more detail on the 14-inch MacBook Pro. To be honest, there isn't that much in it, and to be honest, you'd have to look very, very sharply and carefully to actually see that difference, but it does actually help overall. And one of the big other factors with this is going to be the display refresh rate. So any app that can utilize it, the actual MacBook Pro 14 inch actually has up to 120 hertz refresh rate with that Pro Motion display, whereas the MacBook Air 15 inch only has a 60 hertz display refresh rate. Don't get me wrong, the refresh rate and actually the display on the MacBook Air 15 inch is still really, really good, but obviously the MacBook Pro 14 inch display comes out in front. And that also is seen also in the brightness too. If you're outside and everything, the MacBook Pro 14 inch, you you're going to see a far clearer picture in sort of bright lights with the 1000 nits sort of display whereas the MacBook Air 15 inch only has a 500 nits display instead. But the good news is both of these models do have True Tone built into them too. The other major differences between both of these models are the chipsets inside and this what again makes it out that you've got a Pro model and also you've got an Air model. So the MacBook Air 15 inch does have that Apple M2 chipset inside it and the base model of that does come with the standard smaller sort of 8 core CPU inside it and also has less GPU cores too but whereas the 14 inch MacBook Pro actually does have that 10 core CPU inside it and also at the same time as well has far more GPU cores and is also far more powerful and also the factor that with the 14 inch MacBook Pro you can also scale it up and also get the M2 Max chipset inside it too. And what this basically means in Geekbench 6 multi-core scores, and remember this is the baseline models, these are the cheapest ones that you can get, for the MacBook Air 15 inch the M2, you get a Geekbench multi-score score of 9,585 versus 12,002 with the 14 inch MacBook Pro, and you can see that is definitely out in front. But then the same with RAM as well, you do have different options here. The MacBook Air comes in and starts at eight gigabyte of RAM, and you can go all the way up to 24 gigabytes of RAM. Whereas the MacBook Pro 14 inch starts with 16 gigabytes of RAM built in and go up to 32 gigabytes of RAM for the M2 Pro chipset. Then moving on then for storage amounts, you do have the choice of basically 256 gigabytes of storage or up to two terabytes on the MacBook Air. But with the MacBook Pro 14 inch, it starts with a 512 gigabytes of storage and go all the way up to eight terabytes. 
For ports wise, again, this is where both these models are very, very different. With the MacBook Air 15 inch, you do get two USB-C ports, well, USB 4 and also Thunderbolt 4 ports, and you also get a MagSafe charger too. But on the MacBook Pro 14 inch with the M2 Pro, you get three times USB-C ports, again, with USB 4, and also you get that Thunderbolt 4 as well included. But you also get MagSafe, HDMI 2.1, and also you get an SD card slot too. Moving on to operating systems, both of these MacBooks will run on macOS Ventura straight out of the box, but obviously they'll be getting that upgrade to the latest version of macOS 14 later on this year, and both of these models will definitely be getting upgrades for at least the next five years or so. So then guys, just before we continue on any further into this video, I just want to quickly tell you that we have a giveaway happening at the end of June time, and at this giveaway, I'm giving away three prizes, and it's an international giveaway. And the first prize I'm going to be giving away is going to be some of these. These are some AirPods 2, and one lucky person is going to get their hands on this, and then after that, another person is going to get their hands on these. These are AirPods 3, and then finally, one lucky person is going to get their hands on this. This is an iPhone 13 Pro Max, and I'm going to be giving away these prizes to three separate winners, and we're also going to be doing a live stream of this to see who's actually going to get their hands on them. And all you have to do is just put down in the comments below of what Apple gear you are looking forward to in 2023. Maybe this is something you just seen at WWDC 2023, like the new MacBooks, or the new Mac Pro, or even the Mac Studio, or even the new Vision Pro, what is really, really awesome. Put it down in the comments below of what Apple gear or what technology gear you plan to get, and also at the same time, if you're brand new here, and if you want to get the announcement of when that live stream of the giveaway is gonna be happening, make sure that you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell. Now, just quickly guys, just wanna say again, there are lots of scammers and spammers out there. Some of them impersonating myself, just ignore them or please do report them. It's really easy to do, so just click on the three little dots and just report them like this. And with that guys, let's go back to the video. Battery life is also very similar, but the MacBook Air does come out slightly in front with giving you up to 18 hours of battery life, mainly because it's a slightly larger model and also the M2 chipset's not as demanding as say an M2 Pro, but still the MacBook Pro 14 inch does give you up to 17 hours battery life. For charging, you can charge both these models with a USB-C um, charger if you want to, but you do get MagSafe out of the box. And also the MacBook Air 15 inch comes with a 70 watt MagSafe charger, whereas the MacBook Pro 14 inch has a 96 watt MagSafe charging ability. The weight is the most interesting of all, is that both of these MacBooks actually weigh exactly the same. Obviously the MacBook Air is slimmer but larger, but the MacBook Pro is thicker but is smaller, but also has a few more bits and pieces inside it, including a fan as well, whereas the MacBook Air does not is completely fanless and does not have a fan inside it. So that does actually help with the weight there as well. But then for the actual stereo speakers, both of these models actually have spatial audio and also have stereo speakers built in too. And the MacBook Air has that brand new six speaker design also. Moving on to Bluetooth technologies, both of these models have Bluetooth 5.3 built inside them, so exactly the same technologies there. And also for the webcam, both of them have that notch design of a single lens, and both of them have the 1080p webcam built inside it, so they're both exactly the same there. Then the biggest factor of all is the price. So starting with the MacBook Air 15 inch, if you went for the base model with eight gigabytes of RAM inside it and 256 gigabytes and also the standard M2 chipset, it will come in at 1,299 US dollars. Whereas the base model of the MacBook Pro 14 inch gives you 512 gigabytes of storage and also gives you that M2 Pro chipset inside it and 16 gigabytes of RAM. And this comes in at 1,999 US dollars. To me, I think these prices are very, very fair for both of these models, especially at the MacBook Air. I was expecting it to be more expensive. So for coming in at 1,299 US dollars and for everything you get, I think this is really, really good. Then finally for colors, if colors is your thing, then the MacBook Air is gonna be your choice here. You get four colors of silver, space gray, gold, and midnight. Whereas the MacBook Pro 14 inch, you only get the choice of silver and space gray. So, will you be buying a new MacBook Pro or will you be buying yourself a new MacBook Air? 
So as you can see, that brand new MacBook Air obviously is not as powerful as say the 14 inch MacBook Pro that we have here. Also, we have got one less Thunderbolt USB-C port. We also don't have the SD card port. Also, we don't have many other features like ProMotion display and other things like that. But for 700, dollars difference you are getting quite a lot of a mac in this 14 inch macbook pro that we have here but then having said that that larger 15 inch macbook air is also pretty cool for its price at just one thousand three hundred dollars but on that i would also love to know you guys what your thoughts are on the 14 inch macbook pro and also this brand new 15 inch macbook air which one do you think is the better buy let me know in the comments below and also at the same time it's time to wrap up this video so if you have enjoyed watching it please do press the like button and also if you want to hear the latest apple news reviews and comparisons like this one today make sure you subscribe to the channel followed by that notification bell and on that note guys it's time to go so i'll see you soon bye bye